In this problem, we're being asked if the mean value theorem applies to this function, 7 times sine x, on the interval 0 pi. And if it does, we have to find the value of c. So in this case, the mean value theorem will apply uh, because the mean value theorem only has two conditions. One, our function has to be continuous on this interval here that's given. And that's true because it's the sine function. It is continuous everywhere, so it's definitely continuous on this interval. And two, it has to be differentiable on the open interval. Well, you can find the derivative of sine anywhere, um, so it's certainly differentiable on this interval here. So because the mean value theorem holds, the following equation will hold true. The derivative of f at c should be equal to f of b minus f of a, all divided by b minus a. So if you have continuity and differentiability on the interval, you have this condition here. So all we have to do is uh, work out uh, what this means and find c. So the derivative of uh, sine is cosine. So if you just find the derivative here, f prime of x, you'll get 7 cosine x. So I'm going to come over here and fill that in. And I'll go ahead and use c. So 7 cosine c. You don't have to use c. You can use x. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just stick to it in this case and use c. That's equal to. So your a here is going to be uh, 0 and your b is going to be pi. So it'll be f of uh, pi, because b is pi, minus f of 0 over, and then b minus a, so pi minus 0. All right, so we have 7 cosine of c equals, so f of pi, so you're going to plug it into the sine function, so it'll be 7 sine pi minus 7 sine 0. And that's all over pi. All right, let's keep going. So you have 7 cosine c equals, so 7 sine of pi, uh, let's think about sine. So on the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. So at pi, the y-coordinate is 0. Likewise, at 0, the y-coordinate is 0. So the whole top is going to be 0. So it's 7 times 0 minus 7 times 0 over pi. So that's just 0 over pi, which is equal to 0. So we have 7 cosine of c equal to 0. So I'm going to write that again over here. And then what you can do is divide by 7. So we have the cosine of c is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this equation. Now in order to solve this, it's really important to be aware of our interval. So our interval is 0 pi. Okay. So between 0 and pi, you know, what is the value of c? So again, on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate. So we're asking, when is the x-coordinate 0? Well, right here and right here. But this is pi and this is 0, so we only care about this one because we're between 0 and pi. So this angle here is pi over 2. So c should be equal to pi over 2. And again, that's because this ordered pair is 0, 1. And so the x-coordinate is 0. And remember, on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine comma sine, and so cosine is your x-coordinate, so the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So c is pi over 2, and that's certainly between 0 and pi, and that is the final answer. That's it.